Hello everyone, this is Genius Yoshi, and today we are playing You Shall Not Quest! The deck where we're playing all the green cards, or at least some of them, that prevent our opponent from questing. And which ones are these? Well, there's the Common Crook, the Puppy Napper, Jasper. 2-4, whenever he quests, target opponent character can't quest during their turn. Then we will also be playing Four of Mother Gottel, the Selfish Manipulator, while she's exerted, opposing characters can't quest. Doesn't matter if you're at 19 lore, you can't reach that last one, or you're gonna have to pass over these characters' unbanished bodies. And so, what else can we play? Well, we're gonna be playing a pair of John Silvers, the Aryan alien pilot, pirate, who forces the opponents to challenge. They basically gain reckless during their turn. They're not thinking straight, they're just going to challenge, which means that they can't quest. So, a pair of John Silvers. We're also going to be playing Bounce King Genie on the job, who makes all our wishes come true, as long as the opponent has only one character on their side of the battlefield with no good enter the battlefield ability. See details on the cards. So, Genie on the job bounces, very strong effect, strong evasive body, if the opponent is bounced back, the opponent cannot quest. And in the same way, we'll be playing Mother Knows Best, because Mother knows how to prevent questing by bouncing characters back. Enough analogies with preventing opponents from questing, because we've basically ran out of cards with that ability too. So what else are we going to be playing? Well, we're going to be playing some Amber stuff, because we want some Lilos. We want some Simbas, because it's just a very strong, aggressive opening. And we want some Aerials. So I guess I should have started with Ariel, Spectacular Singer, which is my reason for going Amber. So Ariel gives us access to essentially card draw. So we look at cards, and if we can find a song in the top four, we put it into our hand. Then we're going to be playing Sudden Chill. <clears throat> which is a weak song that forces our opponent to discard a card. It's inkable, it's okay, but it's a song, so it's fetchable by, by Ariel. So by playing Sudden Chill, by playing Be Our Guest, we already have access to eight songs that are inkable and have okay effects in the mid to late game. And I really like Ariel's just ability to fetch these cards that are inkable, Nice body to play on turn 3. The other card which I do really want to play is Lantern. Because Lantern gives us some ramp. So Lantern gives us some ramp. Ariel gives us some extra inkable cards. A little bit of utility depending on the songs that we hit. And we have the Queen of Card Draw and Healing. Rapunzel gifted with healing. So we have a nice 2, 3, 4 in Amber that's going to supplement... What we, what we already had with our 3666 type of line, which is very top heavy. So we need to fill the bottom half of our curve. We need a bit of ramp. And I decided to pick Amber for it. Ramp and card draw. Both of the stuff that we wanted. <coughs> All right. So is there another song that we could be playing? We could play... Let's play one of Hakuna Matata. It's an inkable card. It's going to be one of our uh, curve filler. We'll also be playing one of Have You Forgotten Me. Again, a bit of a curve filler. And if we draw the Have You Forgotten Me, then suddenly the sudden chills become a lot more effective because we can sing it. And suddenly on turn four, we force our opponent to discard three cards. And if that's their whole hand, well, we completely messed with their strategy. Let's look back. So Lilo into Simba's the early game. <coughs> Lantern on two. Have some nice three draws between Ariels and Jasper. On four we have our Rapunzel. Ooh, we have a big hole on five. And we have some nice six. So we need some five drops. What do we want on five? Well, there's the temperamental Emperor Cusco. One of the strongest aggressive card in the game. We'll be playing four of Mr. Cusco here. We'll also be playing four of Maximus, 
Solid stats, good ability, inkable, what's not to like? There's a quick check on inkability. We have one, two, three, four not inkables. All at four copies. Oh, what mother knows best, that's five. So we're up to five times four, 20. 20 is a little bit high, but mother knows best is singable. Lantern is ink. <clears throat> And Lilo typically gets played early, so I'll have to be somewhat careful with our mulligan to send away most of our uninkables, except a one of Lilo or a one of Lantern that will want to that will want to be playing. Now we just need to find something to wrap up our deck list. And as we're at 16 cards already, we have a bit of a hole on four. Is there anything interesting there? Ah, there it is. Tinkerbell, most helpful. Wraps up her curve. It's a nice evasive threat that goes well with our somewhat heavy questers. Rapunzel quest for two, Cusco for three, Genie's evasive quest for two, Gothel for two. So our top, top end is quite quest heavy, decent for combat, and prevents our opponent from questing. And so, let's see. Can we prevent our opponent from questing? Or are they going to... Balrog through us. Well, only one way fi to find out. Just watch it in action with some games. Let's see what we get here. A pair of Lilos is too many Lilos. We're gonna send one back. Double Aerial, Jasper, Rapunzel. Let's go fishing for a Simba here. Let's send one Aerial back. We'll keep the rest of the hand. Okay, I didn't fish very deep for a said Simba. So we're gonna have to go with the Lilo on an empty board. And I'll pass the turn back to our opponent. So my cat is doing doing as much ravage as I'm hoping Lilo is going to do to our opponent. And Lilo is not gonna be doing nearly as much damage as she gets brick walled by a Captain Hook. Steel, steel everywhere. Lilo doesn't like steel. I mean, she's just a kid. She can get hurt by these pointy steel things. We're gonna ink Tinkerbell. And I think we go aerial here. Let's see what we can hit, and we can't hit anything, which is unfortunate. So our spectacular singer kind of failed this particular show. She does get smashed as the opponent proceeds to quest with Hook and Eric. In this case, I think we have to send one Jasper to the ink. Rapunzel doesn't have anything great to do here, so Jasper is going to be your play. and plays a small Tinkerbell. Seems to be stuck on ink. So we get to cast Beer Guest. If we quest with Jasper, Eric and Tinkerbell can take her out. Or even worse, a big tank shifts on top. And that's just devastating. Alright, I'll pass the turn. I'm tempted to just quest with Lilo in case our opponent shifts a big tank. Which our opponent does. Not least Jasper is safe. Oh, and we find a Cusco. Cusco's a pretty nice draw here. But I think we want a Rapunzel. Cleanse off the palette of Jasper, drawing a card that we can ink. Second Jasper, preparing for John Silver next turn. 
Then her opponent didn't quest with Eric or a hook. So we're fine there. Tinkerbell goes to quest alone again. Question is, what do we do here? Problem really is that Tinkerbell. I guess we're gonna be ink efficient and just go John Silver here. Don't prevent Tinkerbell from questing. Don't really have a good attack target to give her. So I think we just pass the turn. There's also this slightly tempting Rapunzel runs into Tinkerbell, Rapunzel draw three. But now we have the alien pirate at our disposal, ready to do some mean things to our opponent. What did Tinkerbell do? Oh, she sang. <coughs> she can't quest, but she can sing. Grab your sword, that is. Well, that actually plays quite well in our favor, because we can Rapunzel heal John. Take out Tinkerbell. Do we want to do that? There's plenty more things to heal another turn so we could also sacrifice John Silver I still think we're gonna heal him heal John Punzel doing her best and we'll play Lantern and John can take out Tinkerbell and that'll be our turn I've been actually somewhat impressed with John Silver. <clears throat> He's doing some, some pretty good things in this deck. Have you forgotten me? No, I have not. Actually, Cusco's are pretty great. Ah, yeah. I wanted to undo the Cusco, but Cusco Ariel is fine. I think I wanted to keep double Cusco, but I couldn't find the undo in time. We're still fine. Seven to zero. Jasper can prevent questing. The opponent decided not to take out John Silver. Not sure why. All right, well, Cusco it is. And let's just quest with everything. You will challenge, quest, you will challenge. And that's it. So opponent can't quest, and Prince Eric is forced to challenge. Honestly, I'd prefer if they would quest and not challenge, but they were most likely going to challenge anyways. And they both live. Maybe I could have given them bad challenges. But I felt like questing for seven was a good play here. All right, so the opponent's about to play a Tinkerbell. Although here I think we need to take out the threats. Now we can quest for seven. Let's take out Eric. John Silver is going to quest. We're going to force, well, Hook to challenge. Although both of these characters want to challenge anyways. Although I can take out Hook very cheaply with Cusco now. 
And Tinkerbell coming in is going to take out John. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Let's go aerial. Let's see what we can find with our siren. Mudder knows best. Mudder knows best. <coughs> That's quite interesting. Because we can bounce her John Silver now. Or we, oh no, we we can bounce Rapunzel and cast Rapunzel, healing John. I like that. So let's sing Mudder Knows Best. Cusco's gonna sing it, bounce Rapunzel, use the ink, play Rapunzel, heal John. Yes, and draw three. That's a much better play. All right, now we're in business. Let's ink our Simba and not play our Lilo because our opponent is going to Tinkerbell next turn. <clears throat> One of those rare cases where using Mudder knows best on our own character turns out to be quite efficient. Tinkerbell comes in, pings everything. Hades will take out John Silver regardless, but took a card. It took an extra card from our opponent, and we've gotten to draw quite a bit. Kuzgo falls to the one drop. Which feels extremely bad, but that's okay because we've gotten a ton of card in that exchange. We can go Mother Gothel. Just quite tempting here. And at Lilo. I don't think that's all we want. Let's not bounce her opponent's cards right now. Let's keep everything unexerted. Hoping our opponent doesn't have a second copy of Big Tinkerbell. We do have the surprise discard effect here, which can be quite effective. If we can get our opponent to throw an extra card or two out. And let's try to force our opponent to making a bad decision here. They count 36 to 42, thanks to our plethora of Rapunzel's. Opponent smashes their own Tinkerbell to then heal it and draw cards off of Rapunzel. <laughs> Man, the stuff that gets pulled this game. Alright, well, if our opponent's going for the tempo play, I guess we're going for the tempo play. Let's balance that Tinkerbell, quest with everything. That Lilo's gonna die next turn, anyways. And go for the pressure move with Tinkerbell. And just try to end it on the spot. Nice finesse move from our opponent trying to mimic what we've done. But doesn't work quite well when you're emptying your board. We had a lot on our board and very few cards in hand, so played out well for us. Not so good for you though. And your opponent can't quest, thanks to Mother Gothel, just laughing it up, saying, you shall not quest. Actually, no, I need to say it with the Gandalf voice. You shall not quest. Could say it more dramatic, but I don't want to explode the sound on the microphone. would not sound good. Also, I can't do a good Gandalf voice. Opponent's thinking of a way out. 
The only way out is to reach 10 ink and double grab your swords, I think. Well, the opponent needs to prevent us from questing for four. There's two here, another two evasive. It's pretty hard to deal with. Another two there with four willpower. I don't think our opponent can do it. Grab your sword. And that's it. We will take the game. As the opponent resigns, seeing that there's nothing they can do to prevent us from questing to victory, well, they cannot quest. Let's see what we can do. Got a discard heavy hand. Uh, nothing to play early on, though. So we're going to send the Mother Nose Best back, and might as well send the Sudden Chill. The rest? Actually, send three. See if we can find any early play. Nope. Sun Chill does come back. All we'll Ink Akuna Matata, which is really just a target to hit with Ariel. Ooh, opponent inks a big musketeer. Goes with hook. Find another four drop. Let's go ahead and ink that Tinkerbell. And then we're going to cast the Sudden Chill. Mostly because we have that Have You Forgotten Me. So getting our opponent's hand count lowered is going to play in our favor. And we'll pass the turn back as the opponent discards a beast. Sudden Chill. Just opponent discards one. Away to song. Hook quests, we find the mother knows best, and now we want to play Ariel. I think unfortunately the play here is to ink a mother gottle. Lynchpin of the deck, but at this point Ah. I really wanted to play the Ariel, can't find anything. Spectacular singer, just hit a false note. It happens. Not gonna hold it against her. Still a spectacular card. Opponents now sitting with three cards in hand. We will ink our second copy of Ariel. And we'll cast Have You Forgotten Me. It's better when you don't give the opponent a choice, but the opponent's gonna be hard pressed to ink a card and play a five drop. If that's what they do, that's all they have. As we hit a grab your sword and a develop your brain. Do you take the opportunity to take out hook here? Seems fine. I'm not overly intending on singing big stuff. <clears throat> Our discard aspect is doing quite decently. As the opponent plays a Bell Strange but Special. Pretty good card when you're flooding with ink, which our opponent clearly is not. Find another Mother Gottel, which I really have to ink here so I can play Maximus. Then pass the turn back. Time for a workhorse to do some stuff. Opponent inks the Tinkerbell. I'm expecting a whole new world. Which kind of voids our discard plan. But Maximus does hold pretty decently here. If we get a full tempo swing back in our favor. Okay. <coughs> Have a pair of Mother Nose best. Oh, we're definitely taking out Prince Eric here. This is the only threat capable of actually fighting us. Opponent didn't play their card, which makes me think that that card in hand cost six or more. Probably another Tinkerbell or something. 
So I definitely don't want to send an Inkable back. <coughs> and I'm going to have a higher impact Mother Knows Best next turn. Still nothing on six. Okay. Going to hard cast a whole new world. I should have bounced the bell. But now our board looks decent. And tempo shifts back into our favor. Opponent now at seven ink. Questing with Mickey. So it's steel, sapphire. The opponent has an array of removal from grab your sword to Hades to let it go. I need to be wary of all of those. Well, we'll start by inking a beer guest. <coughs> I think we want to go tempo here. So take out Mickey and cast Genie. Making full use of our ink and the bell goes back. That's at the very least prevent our opponent from double inking for free. <coughs> we'll force our opponent to break up their ink into bell and something else. If they want to double ink. Let it go makes it to our opponent's ink pool. opponent does decide to send Bell back for the second ink phase I imagine the Bell cost four which means she can't sing the songs of doom find a second copy of Rapunzel so I'll send it be our guest to the ink Well, Genie's gonna quest. There's not very many options here. I think I'll just play another one. Back you go, Bell. I think I love Genie on the job. Such a powerful card, and it leaves back a 3-4 evasive body, questing for two. Just on itself, it's a decent threat, and the fact that he bounces is just so strong. Very good tempo play. Opponent heart opponent has to hard cast to let it go. Which gives us more ink. Let me find Cusco. Cusco's pretty decent. I don't think we're gonna need a Simba. So we can go four plus five. Cusco Tinkerbell. And we can give evasive to Cusco. Until end of turn. And we'll pass the turn back. <clears throat> Just some big emerald threats. Some nice tempo plays. And our opponent has hopefully not a double grab your sword. That completely wrecks our board. Oh well. That was our opponent's turn. And here we have the John Silver. You shall not quest, Mr. Hans. You're going to fight, but there's nothing to fight, so... Yeah. Sun chills. Quite interesting here. I think I'm going to cast it. I'm expecting the opponent to be holding a whole new world. Which makes it very tempting to just ink a Rapunzel here. What was our opponent holding? Another copy of Grab Your Sword, I think. It's one, one whole new world out. I'm going to gamble that it's not a whole new world. If it is, well, I've just lost one ink. Small Aurora and a bell. Ooh, and that bell <coughs> can actually quest for a ton. But we have another John Silver. So get in there, Bell. You will be challenging this turn. And John Silver is going to be questing. Forcing Hans to challenge. 
But Hans and Aurora can challenge and then Vel can just sit pretty. So I can I can't hard cast Rapunzel. I'll pass the turn back. Which might be a mistake. John Silver is just preventing your opponent from questing. Opponent hard casts a large Aurora. Preventing us from doing any more John Silver shenanigans. Oh, and the opponent misplays there. Questing with Aurora. Which means that Bell and Hans are going to have to be sacrificial pawns into John Silver. That Aurora could have traded and kept Bell alive. Advantage playing John Silver. People aren't used to it. And so they tend to misplay more. And now we have the very nice fight small Aurora. And Rapunzel is going to heal you. We're going to draw some cards. And for five, let's just go Tink Lilo. <coughs> John Silver doing some work. Preventing your opponent from questing. One develops their brain, finds Tekka. Pretty big beater right there. 5-5, five, five, quest for 2. And if it challenges and deals lethal damage, you can gain 2 lore. <coughs> well, John Silver can fight Aurora quite nicely. We're gonna heal and draw, thanks to our good friend Rapunzel here. And that's just disgusting. We're uh, gonna ink the sudden chill. I don't think our opponent's going to be keeping a card in hand. And now we have Jasper. And might as well bodyguard here. Why not? And I'm not sure what our opponent needs to draw. A whole new world into double grab your swords, but there's already three in the discard. And Jasper is going to prevent our opponent from questing, doing the namesake of the deck, with John Silver questing, forcing the opponent to challenge. Tekka takes out Simba. And the opponent resigns because, well, the opponent might have had a chance if we didn't have the Jasper. Because playing a few more threats that can quest without us having the ability to deny them could have been problematic and squeeze the victory from our opponent. So we're going to give some credit to the Jasper, just forcing our opponent not to be able to quest. But the main credit goes to John Silver because forcing reckless on these characters just you shall not quest uh, and you shall die in combat was well, proved to be quite effective especially thanks to a small misplay okay big misplay of our opponent not challenging us with aurora but we saw the card do what it's meant to do and it did it quite well now let's see what we can do and what we can prevent our opponent from doing as we have a jasper a lilo Lots of inkables. Send sudden chill back. And the rest seems fine. I'm kind of hoping for a Simba. We are going first. I'd also like a two drop. Let's also send one Jasper back. And we find a <laughs> sudden chill yet again. But an extra copy of Rapunzel. So let's ink a Rapunzel. probably one of the best cards in the game but there's not much I can do with three copies just so early on I guess that's part of why the card's so good the fact that it's inkable gives me that option ooh Duke of Weaselton not overly happy to see that I can cast a sudden chill but I'm not sure I want to Let's 
saying John at this point. And just pass the turn back. Yeah, I can play the sudden chill, but it removes one card from me and from the opponent. And I'm not sure who that's benefit who benefits most from this. Is the opponent goes with the aggressive John Silver play. Flynn Rider, sorry. John Silver is the thing that I just threw in the ink pool. Okay. So if you're going to go aggressive on me, I'm going to ink that sudden chill. And go with Jasper. And I'll pass the turn back. Whenever he quests, opposing character cannot quest during their turn. Which is great on, great on Flynn Rider. Because then he just becomes a 1-2. And that's not too intimidating. Opponent inks their own copy of Jasper. Okay, so it's a steel emerald. <coughs> Simba's a good pickup here. But I like the ability to play Rapunzel. And making sure we have a good mid of cards at our disposal. We can take out Duke. I'm also slightly afraid of a shifted Tinkerbell here, which is why I don't go Lilo Simba, because a shifted Tinkerbell, ping everything for one, both Lilos die, then go after the Simba, it, it's pretty devastating. Rapunzel line seems safer. Let me find a mother Gottel and Genie. I'll still keep Lilo unexerted. In case our opponent doesn't go with the shifted Tinkerbell. Which I mean is still a moderate shot. It's not a long shot. Not a guaranteed, but a moderate shot. Just something that we need to respect. <coughs> and our opponent does it. I'm glad I went with that line. Still going to be somewhat punishing. As Jasper is going to go down. And Rapunzel will take the blunt of the damage. That's okay. We have a backup Rapunzel. Alright, at this point... <coughs> I really want to play the backup Rapunzel. Sudden Chill I think I'm going to hold. Just in case their opponent goes down to one card that's a whole new world. Which is another card that we have to respect and that is quite th threatening. Yeah, I can sing one. I'm not overly interested in that right now. The second copy does give us the option to try and just fully hand control our opponent. Lilo does not fare well against Tinkerbell. They enter the battlefield, takes her out. The combat just deals the extra points of damage. Opponents emptying their hand with a Hercules Cruella. Come on, not a whole new world. Pretty much all I'm asking for at this point. Okay, not a whole new world. But opponents at 10. <clears throat> and 10 is a problem. So we're gonna ink one sudden shell. We're almost definitely going to sing one. I think I want to sing a sudden chill and then play Genie Bounce Tinkerbell. And I didn't want to keep the second sudden chill because bouncing the Tinkerbell actually bounces two cards. So it doesn't have the desired effect. Opponent can quest for four next turn. The other option is to go with Mudder Gottel. But then the opponent gets the multi pings from Tinkerbell, which I'm not overly fond of. But 
but then we get the genie next turn. <clears throat> I can also sacrifice a card and take out the Flynn. Oh, no, I can't. There's Hercules. I think I want to go with the... Okay, well, let's sing this. Because this is happening. Opponent must discard their card. Thanks to Sudden Chill. And then it's Gottel or Genie. <coughs> What did we hit? We hit a smash. Okay. Smash is good. If we play Genie, opponent can quest for 4, 14, then we drop Gothel. And Genie can do a bit of fighting. Yeah, we're good. Let's go with the Genie route. Genie will bounce back to Tinkerbells. Lilo can quest because our opponent's likely to just play the Tinkerbell again. Then we already have one exerted Rapunzel, so we might as well quest with the other one. Alright, that's our line. Took a little while to get there, but I think that that was the move. Opponent inks a tank to play a tank. Bye bye, Lilo. Predictable yet very effective. Now the opponent goes to quest down. Have you forgotten me is quite tempting, but we can't afford it. We're gonna have to ink it. Uh, the ping makes the genie trade fairly awkward here. We are going to take out our Hercules. Opponent can quest for five. And then we solely rely on Mother Gothel. <coughs> Is that what we want to do, or do we want to take out Flynn? If we take out Flynn, then Tinkerbell has a field day. Tinkerbell is likely to get a field day, anyways. Discarding two cards hurt quite a bit. But I think in this situation, Flynn is too threatening. And we don't really need these two cards. So goodbye Lilo, goodbye Lantern. That's an expensive trade for a Flynn Rider. But now we hold Mother Gothel. As long as she's exerted, the opponent cannot quest. Unfortunately, we just don't have any good beaters. And so that Tinkerbell is queen, really. And Rapunzel's are just punching bags that allow Tinkerbell to trigger. We need a good draw. A very good draw. Not, not sure why Cruella went to fight. Oh, okay. Cruella went to ping a Rapunzel so that Tinkerbell t can take out Boat. That giant fairy, I tell you. Let me find a Cusco. <coughs> Let's go with questing prevention. And Kuzgo can't get pinged. Just overall solid character. Uh, if it's between Kuzco or Tinkerbell, we might as well go with the Kuzco. But I don't think it's good enough. Also, that Mother Gothel effect right now is quite a pain for our opponent. Ugh. Grab your sword. Song of Doom. 
Tinkerbell has no target. And now our opponent can start questing again. Which puts us in an impossible situation at this point. <laughs> opponent misplayed Hans, decided to trigger the ability, but has no target. On our side of battlefield. Well, we might as well take out the Tinkerbell out of spite. Cast Sudden Shell to force our opponent to discard a card. For no real reason. Again, out of spite. And we'll play the Tinkerbell. Giving Cruella Evasive. Opponent had a Plasma Blaster. Actually, if you're in best of three tournament, it's worth playing that extra discard just getting a little bit of extra information out of what your opponent is playing but for now it doesn't matter it's best of one internet ladder and we've just been defeated I hope that you've enjoyed this video sponsored by fun because fun is what I am hoping that you're having by watching my content if you did do subscribe to the channel I greatly appreciate it leave me a comment telling me what you'd like to replace these little Lilos with because I think four of has been a little too much. They're not quite pulling their weight. Maybe two of them would have been slightly better. I think I would have liked an extra copy of Have You Forgotten Me. I tend to forget about that card. It's actually pretty good, especially with sudden chills. As we are going near winter here in Canada. Well, I'm diverting from the main intention here, which is getting you to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit it before. Just make sure you stay subscribed. Leave a comment. Tell me what you've liked about this video, what you didn't like about this video, what you'd like to see next, or any topic that comes to your mind. I just like reading your comments, responding to your comments, and talking too much at the end of my videos. Again, I hope you've had a great time, and I'll see you next time.